Changing out the rear differential fluid in an 07 Ford Ranger. I'm gonna spray some penetrating oil on the 10 half inch bolts that hold that cover on, or maybe not. No pressure, hang on. WD-40. Let that soak in, I'll be back in the morning. So next morning, before we take these out and drain out the fluid, we need to go around the back side to make sure that the fill plug will loosen up. And the box in of a 3 8 inch ratchet, in this case with an extension, that fits right in that plug. And we need to make sure that this will break free before we drain all that fluid out, because if we drain the fluid out first and then can't get this plug out, then we're in trouble. It's turning. Now that we know the fill plug is loose, we can take all these off, drain the fluid out. I am not gonna take the bolt out up top to keep this plate from falling straight down, and I'm gonna loosen these kind of in a zigzag star pattern. <clears throat> this is my first time ever replacing rear differential fluid, and I'm following the lead of a video by Chris Fix, who happens to have a video showing how to do this on a Mazda B3000, which is essentially the same as a Ford Ranger like this one. In his video, Chris Fix mentions this tag, which will help you figure out if you have a limited slip rear differential or an open rear differential. And I have an open one based on the information on this tag. And you can tell that this differential has been leaking a little bit. And if you have a tag, don't lose it. Put it back on. That can help somebody else down the road. So now the last one, like I said, I'm just gonna loosen. I'm not gonna take it all the way out yet. I'll leave it right about there. Now we can pry that cover off and fluid should leak out. I'm gonna let that drip for a few minutes. I'm still stuck up top a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that's definitely RTV. So we'll have to get all that old stuff cleaned off, off of this and also on the cover. Got some brake parts cleaner, plastic scraper, and some paper towels to get this cleaned up. I got 99% of that old RTV off. I did use a metal scraper for just a few spots. I did not gouge out the metal. Now let's clean off the differential. I did use the metal again, but the scraper I'm using is pretty flimsy. So I was careful not to do any damage, not to gouge the metal. I'm gonna use a chainsaw sharpener. It has a wire brush attachment. It's kind of a soft wire brush. I don't think this will hurt anything. So I'm gonna clean everything up with this, then we'll put the gasket on. Here's a gasket I'm using, Felpro RDS 55393. It is a perfect fit for my differential, which has, my differential, has a seven and a half inch ring gear. That's what this fits. Come to find out, some Ford Rangers have an 8.8 .8 inch ring gear. I bought this gasket off eBay, and you can see if I line it up on the right, it is way too large. However, the site that I bought this gasket off of said an RDS 55341 will fit an 07 Ford Ranger, which it will if your Ford Ranger has an 8.8 .8 inch ring gear. So what exactly is a ring gear? Let's look at that. Diameter of that gear in the middle is seven and a half inches, so I can only assume that is the ring gear, but you need to know before you order a gasket, seven and a half or 8.8. .8. You need to know that before you order the gasket. Or forget the measuring tape and look at your tag if you have one right there, seven five, that signifies 7.5. That means I have a seven and a half inch ring gear. If I had 8.8, .8, that would be 88. So remember I told you this was my first time. That's a rookie mistake. Look at your tag, your ring gear size will be right there. I'm gonna give the differential one final wipe down with brake parts cleaner, and I will also wipe down the cover as well. A lot of people use RTV, some use gaskets, some use a combination of RTV and gaskets, but I, I'm gonna go with just a gasket, and hopefully that will not leak. Get that bolt started in up top first, and line up the other holes. I forgot to put this tag back on. I have them all down, I have them snug. Now I'm gonna to torque them all down to 30 foot pounds. Gonna to have to redo that when I bent that tag. What did I miss? I missed this one. 
that's in a better position. That'll be easier to read. 30 foot pounds for everything. Now we can fill it back up. Owner's manual, rear differential, SAE 80W90. That is what I have. And having a gallon jug, that's too big to get up there to pour. So I'm going to be using a little suction pump. The top part is suction. So this hose will go down into the gallon jug. This is the discharge. This will go into the differential. There are some metal shavings on the back side, but I don't think that's enough to be worried about. Put that discharge tube into the differential and I'll start pumping until fluid starts to flow out. Let's make sure oil, yeah, it's coming out. This is gonna take a while. I'm at the five minute mark already, so I'm gonna stop filming. I'll come back when it's full. We are there, we are full, it's running out. <laughs> now let's check out old fluid versus new. There's the old and the new. Much cleaner as you would expect. The old fluid, no idea how long that had been in there. At least eight years, because my father-in-law bought that truck eight years ago, and he's put about 55,000 miles on it since then, so. So if you're gonna use a gasket, look at your tag if you have one to get your ring gear size. If you have a seven and a half inch ring gear and you want to go with Felpro, you need RDS 55393. If you have an 8.8 .8 ring gear, you need RDS 55341. If you don't have a tag, you can measure the housing, and that should tell you what size ring gear you have. And if you're not going with a gasket, if if you're going to use RTV, then you need a special RTV that is resistant to gear oil. What I'm going to do now is put a few miles on the truck before I end the video to make sure this does not leak with just a gasket. So we're starting out at 152,794. I'll put a few miles on it and then we'll come back and check it for leaks. A few days later, we're at 825, so 31 miles driven. And now let's check it for leaks. And you will see that we have no leaks. Down here at the bottom of the differential, see the edge of it, that blue right there. No leak at all, because if it was leaking, that gasket would be stained. So, no leaks using just a gasket and no RTV now. Let's go around the back side and pull that fill plug out and see if the oil level is good or if we need to add some. No extension this time. If no fluid drains out, when I get the plug out, then I'm going to stick my pinky finger in there and see just how far down the oil level is. And then we may add a little bit more. So it is not running out. But it is right to the edge, right to the lip of the hole. So I'm good with that. All right, we are done. I'll put links down below to the two Felpro gaskets, the seven and a half and 8.8 .8 inch gaskets, also to the gear oil that I used and a link to the Chris Fix video that kind of showed me what to do. I made a few mistakes, but it turned out all right. Make sure you know what size ring gear you have before you start. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.